Okay, hey everyone. So this is a segment I'd like to call this is sh products. Um, products that I would not repurchase. I literally have it written down as products I wouldn't repurchase, aka this is sh um, censor the bad word. This isn't going to be the most popular video. I, I have a product on here that I know everybody, there are going to be people that are going to be like, you're crazy for me putting this on here, but I have a reason. Um, but I'll just start with the things that I don't actually have with me because I threw them away. Um, and it's two different types of wipes, like facial makeup remover wipes. The first one is a brand called, like, I think it's called Organics. Um, you get it at Target. It's in, like, a kind of like a um, grayish green package. Those wipes barely take off makeup. They barely take off anything. Um, I couldn't even get all of my eyeshadow off with them and usually it's easy to take my eyeshadow off. I couldn't get I couldn't get anything off with them. It was they were just the worst wipes I think I've actually ever used in my life. Um, so I would not recommend those to anybody because it's a total waste of six dollars. Um, the second wipes is the Simple Beauty exfoliating wipes. If the exfol the regular ones are fine. Those are those are fine. They work good. But the exfoliating one is so abrasive that it almost hurts. You get used to it after you use it for like a week, but it's just I feel like it tears up my skin. It's disgusting. Um I don't I don't like the exfoliating. And I usually love exfoliating type wipes, but this is seriously it hurt. It it just hurt. So I wouldn't recommend those to anybody either, especially if you have sensitive skin, because that's even worse. I don't have sensitive skin, but it still hurt me. So if you have sensitive skin, you're not going to like them, or I don't think you'll like them. The third thing, and I only have a small list, um, is the Simple Beauty Eye Makeup Remover. This, it'll take off your eyeshadow, but you really have to work with it to take off your um, mascara. And I don't wear waterproof, so um, it should be easier to come off. But this also is, it says, kind to the eyes. If I even got the littlest amount in my eyes, it made my eyes burn. And I don't have any kind of allergies or, like, I don't have sensitive skin. So I don't, I don't know. I mean, there's no oil, so maybe that's why I didn't take off um, eye makeup remover well. Well, hold on. Well, see, because this one's oil-free, and this one works really well. Um, so that can't be it. I don't know. This, I just don't like it. I will not repurchase it. I haven't even used the last, like, I don't know, fifth of it. I just, it's not worth it to me. It's, it's, ugh. The fourth thing is something that is, <coughs> is just very gimmicky to me. Um, it's the Dream Bouncy Blushes. These don't actually bounce, so the name makes no sense to me. It's more like dream indentation blushes, because that's all it does. Um, I mean, the color payoff is fine. There you go. But I just... They're too difficult, and they're all gimmick to me, and I, just, I don't like them that much, really. I won't buy another color. I bought this one, and I may use it every now and then. Actually, I've used it once, I think, and I haven't used it again. I bought this months ago. Um, they're just too difficult. I just... No, no fuss. Okay, so the next one I'm going to do, it's the Amazing Cosmetics Velvet Mineral Foundation. Um, it comes in a thing like this, with a little sponge, and then it comes with a little flip. You can see that I use this all, so... I gave this time to be loved, but it's called a Velvet Mineral Foundation. Foundation. So this should have some kind of coverage to it. I swear to you, I get better coverage out of the Dream Matte Powder from Maybelline. And I only bought this because it was on sale at a Sephora, but if you were to go to a Sephora, like, um, a Sephora that sold it and it wasn't on sale, this is like 30 something dollars. But I got mine for like 9 so that's why I tried it, but it's just, it doesn't work well at all. I think it's crap. I really do. Um, <laughs> hence the name of the title. I just... no. No! Fail. Complete fail. <sighs> okay, so I only have one more product. And I might get total hate for this, but it's just, bear in mind, it's just because it, I just don't like it for me. 
Um, and it is the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. The only thing I like about this is that I do feel like it lasts well on the skin, but their colors are terrible, or at least for me they are. I mean, I'm very fair, so I'll give them that, but it's so hard for me to find foundations that match my skin, and I use, like, a good lot of this, but it's just, they don't have good color range, in my opinion, or they might, I don't know, they just don't have a color for me, so I'm going to say that they don't have good color range, and, um... I don't like the finish of it. Like, it's very chalky looking to me. Like, it just doesn't look natural. I just don't like it. I won't buy it again, most likely. This is the second time I've bought one. Uh, the first time I bought it, though, I bought it, um, I think, I don't know. I don't remember. It was years ago. But I just, I'm not impressed. And I know tons of people love it. So I really, really wanted to like it because it's an affordable version for a foundation. But it just does not work well at all for me. Um, I don't know. I'm sorry. I just don't like it. If you guys have any other recommend recommendations of a drugstore foundation, please feel free to let me know. Um, if you guys have tried the new Neutrogena um, Shine Control one, yeah, let me know. Because um, I don't like this one, but I do have oily skin. So, yeah. Um, that is all of the products that I have saved up right now, and I saved some of them to show you guys specifically, but that is all I have. Not a long list. I typically um, do a lot of research on products that I buy first, um, but yeah. So that is all of them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you all hopefully soon. Yeah, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.